You don't know what's making the miasma angry, do you? To know what's making the miasma angry, you have to know what miasma is. What it really or are you going to tell me what it is? Because I don't. And you have no idea. At least you know how to fear it. That's good. You see it turn air into poison. Nature into nightmares. Frogs into monsters. You know you can't escape it. The miasma surrounds your town like an ocean surrounds a lonely island. And it's spreading across America, twisting this once great nation into a lethal wasteland. So don't leave. Stay safe and sedentary. The dull, colorless mining settlement you've lived in your whole life. Put your head down. Work hard. Provide the gold that feeds America's rulers, the first family. And pray the miasma's anger doesn't wipe your town off the map. No one here is brave enough to conquer their fear or create their destiny, except you, Elvis. With your big brother, Diggs, and years of hard work, you've harnessed your glove's power, and now you want to find me. But you still don't know what it really is, do you? I could tell you, but revelations must be earned. So a secret. It shall remain. Oh, come on! Maybe in the future, you will be strong enough to break through the wall and find me. And if you do, maybe I will tell you my secret. But we both know you'll die along the way. Because between me and you... ...lies the miasma. It's a haunting intro. It's an impressive intro as well. I loved that intro. So we're moving on to the real monsters quest. We defeated the frog monsters. But we now need to uh, go tell the mayor about them. A little bit of lag there. There we are. We got to tell the mayor what we saw. The mayor? What's he going to do against frog monsters? He can't hold a gun. Can't even run. He's been running this town for 80 years. He'll know what to do. Man, Joe Biden's been running this town for 80 years? Oh, sedentary. Home sweet home. You saved my ass back there, big man. Uh, you got the magic, bro. All I got is strength, wisdom, charisma, good looks. I get it. You love yourself there, Diggs. Go say hi to Georgia. What the gator dragged in? I walk past your shop, Elvis. It looks like hammer shit. All oh, right, cause this place is immaculate. <laughs> Smells good too. Don't try to get on my good side, Elvis. I no longer have one. Now I know you want to find your mama, and no one's gonna tell you different. But this town needs a good mechanic. Especially with the first family up our asses. Go this way. Mayor right. J. Mason. Make all the jokes you want, but that man refuses to die. When he lost his legs, he dragged his butt through a half-mile tunnel 
When he lost his arms, he fought tooth and nail to become mayor of this town. He must be over a hundred years old. Still sharp as a knife. He might live forever. Mm. Be careful of men who refuse to kick the bucket. They'll do anything it takes to hold on. Anything. You know, I really wanted your mama to come back. You miss her? No. Nah, I wore 50 plastic. She skipped town before I could pay her back. She's been gone so long, though. Might as well give it to you. Really? I don't know, Georgia. She's not coming back. I'm sorry. Take the money and bury the past. Fine. Years ago, we used to trade with the first family face to face. Now they just send their robotic flunkies to squeeze us dry. <laughs> Damn collectors. They take our gold, and in return, they give us just enough supplies to keep us digging. But where else are we gonna buy supplies? They got us bent over a log, all right. So we tell the first family to get lost. What's so hard about that? That's what Elizabeth Town did. Where are they now? Underground. Buried in rubble. You know what vexes me? What does the first family do with all that gold? Right, let's... You ruminate on what I told you. Yeah, let's ruminate. Yeah, we're gonna totally ruminate. I totally know what that means. The evil energy surrounds our town on all sides. But we shall not fear the miasma. We're gonna do a backflip on the miasma. Hey, hey, say it with me now. Raise your hands and say it with me. We're gonna stop the miasma from poisoning us. We're gonna put the miasma in a headlock. Hey, hey, say it with me. Typical southern preachers. I should know. I live in the south. Shaft D still feels raw, all right? But we gotta accept the hardship. Accept the hardship? My brother's dead and no one's telling me why. We're in the process of finding that out. I, I know it's gonna take a long time to heal, but... How did they die? We don't have substantial info to present at this time, all right? Nobody knows? So, if there's no more questions, I need everyone to... Get to work. But it's not safe down there. Shaft A is as safe as a mine is ever gonna be. What are we gonna talk about labor conditions? We're working 17 hour days. Yeah, we got holes in our boots. We're sleeping standing up. The mayor thanks everyone for their hard work during this difficult time. Let's just get this goal. Twelve miners die in Shaft D, and you tell us to get back to work. I don't like that guy. They closed Shaft D. We can breathe again. Mine is safe. Yeah, totally safe. Not. Mine storage card. A simple key card with mine storage printed on it. Hey, what about the mine fires? Methane eruptions? Black lung. Okay, enough. Very funny. Don't forget the biggest disaster of all. Foreman Clancy. Huh. Total dickwad. Guys, the mine is safe. Now, who wants to cover my shift? Not I. Nor I. Come on, ten plastic in your pocket right now. Who's taking my shift? Hello? No one's gonna take your shift there, bucko. Mine storage card. That's gonna be useful later, because it's in the quest item. Let's go to the enemies. Tadpole scout, young grabber weapon, or warriors need time to learn about the world and which tactics to employ on the battlefield. Sadly for them, the first lesson can also be the final lesson. Old pal Abamadi, her mining years are far behind her. She runs sedentary at the main office where miners get prepped, trained, and paid. And we're in sedentary. What's well, a small location of how collection of houses, I mean. Adjacent to a network of caves, the latter becoming part of the mine, sedentary rapidly grew to accommodate its need for workers. The specific date of its founding is unknown, at least to its current day resident. 
Most of the buildings and houses in sedentary were relocated wholesale from nearby locations and placed in the town, giving it slightly higgledy-piggledy appearance. At the core of the town is its gold mine, the main employer in the region. Rich lore in this game, and I like it. Let's go speak to the mayor, who has apparently no arms and no legs. So he's probably... I saw a promotional image of a guy that's just a head. Just a head? So I, I bet that this is the mayor. Okay, let's talk to the old man. Yep. Yep. Elvis, the boy with the magic glove. Mayor, listen, this is gonna sound crazy, but we saw monsters. Real monsters. What's with the hunched shoulders and sour puss, boy? I keep telling you, if you don't project power, someone's gonna take it from you. You heard what he said, old man. Monsters, right outside town. I'm talking to the smart one. You didn't bring it. Okay, say that again. <laughs> Diggs, calm down. <sighs> Trash can. What's he yakking about, monsters? That's what they were. Big, nasty frog things. They killed the Vodder family. Damn near killed us, too. Loads of them are coming for the town. You gotta do something. Mm -hmm. I knew this day was coming. What you mean you knew? It was the last full moon. The mayor of Pikeville was screaming at me on the radio about some invasion. I sent the sheriff out there for a look-see. He said the townspeople were gone. And the streets were covered with giant sacks of eggs. Frog eggs. We can't let that happen here. You can get the town to fight. This is a mining town. We mine. No, the miasma's changing. Behaving differently. It's more important than ever. You get through that wall and find your mama, Bob Mati. She's the only one who might know what's going on. Like it or not, Elvis, the fate of our town is in your fingers. Yeah, about my fingers. The glove's dead. I blew out the power core. Well, go find a new power core and come back here pronto. Yeah, it's kind of his I'll fault too. Look at your mama's data drive. See if she left any clues on how to keep that glove from breaking. And one more thing: do not leave town. It's too dangerous out there. Quest completed. Real monsters. While the mayor digs through mama's data drive for clues, we need to get the glove fixed. Bertha Jr. probably has a working power core. All right, so let's go talk to Bertha Jr. Visit original Bertha's. Only one place to get a power core. Bertha's? Fat chance, little brother. After the shit you pulled. Pay to the town's in my fingers, right? How can she say no? Welcome to original Bertha's general store. I'm Bertha Jr. Hello, Bertha Jr. Elvis? Oh, hell no. Get out. Bertha, please. All we need is one fresh power core. You blew up my car. Last damn car in town. You know how expensive that thing was? I do, and I'm sorry. My glove misfired, and... Uh, listen, we're on official mayor business. I don't care if the mayor comes here and karate chops me with his tiny arms. Supplies are limited. I got merchants disappearing in the miasma. First family's giving me shittier gear, but if you happen to find me a torque jammer, maybe I'll forgive you for killing my car and give you a power core. Fine. Listen, we don't have... Uh, I got your torque jammer, Bertha. <laughs> oh, yeah? It's right out back. And, uh, Bertha, while I'm out there, I'll be holding on to the memory of your beautiful face. Okay. Get me that jammer and the core is yours. Better hurry. It's my last one. 
A new objective, find a torque jammer. What the hell are you telling her? Grabbing a torque jammer is easy, little brother. Just gotta know where to grab. What? The border's been picked clean. Screw the border. We can go to Gator Zone. Your call. I'm going to Gator Zone. Tiger Tough. Come on. Pack deal's gone. What do you mean, pack deal's gone? I can't get anybody on the radio. It's like the town up and disappeared. Yeah, according to the mayor, that's exactly what happened. How about we stay out of jail this time. Sound good? Hattie's? Hattie's shop. Herbal enhancements. Well, let's... Let's keep going. When we die, we go to California. Says so in the Bible. Mayor J. Mason here. We got some uh, reports of severe miasma. Can I? The outside town. No, you don't go to California when you die. Warped interpretation of the Bible. Go burr. safety regulations and mine protocol commencing repairs to the drag line excavator you should get back in the mine where you belong bot oh shut up come on you stupid thing turn already Travel to the next location. Only one place. Bertha still mad at us after that whole car accident thing. She won't sell us anything, let her alone her last power core. But she might let things slide for a working torque jammer. Gator Zone. Let's make this quick. I got a bad feeling about Gator Zone. Well, I got a good one. You want to fix your glove, right? Let's get Bertha what she wants. Sure, searching the wasteland for a tool the size of my hand. No sweat. Ah, I got your back. You got mine. Everything's easy peasy. What is that? Or more plastic? I thought that we were going to get something out of the vending machine that's there. Gigantic alligator, it looks like. Baxter Conway, hello. Baxter, you shouldn't be out here. My asthma's spreading. I need to find out why. Find out in town. It's bad news out here. You're not my dad, Elvis. You're my friend. We're still friends, right? Yes, we're still friends. This place is evil, Baxter. And you're too... Full of light? I'm not full of light. Seriously, I don't want some creature... Dragging you back to its hole to like turn you into soup or some shit. Oh, sounds like you're sweet on me. Is he sweet on me, Diggs? I say he is. Yeah. No, dude. What? It's cool. I get it. Who has time for friends when you're looking for family? Oh, bite me. You're my best friend, Baxter. I just been busy, but we'll hang soon. I promise. My asthma's been acting weird. No shit. I don't want to brag, but I am the greatest scientist in town. Only scientist in town. You don't get it. It's making monsters. 
We saw him murder the Vader family. What? Shit. I should have saw this coming. The last few weeks, there's been this hyper spike in the miasma's flux signals. Like it's getting... Angry? Exactly. Someone, something, is pissing it off. That's interesting. I have to, I have some hunches about Screw that. bad news. I need some good news. You got me? No. Uh, well, nobody killed me. Today. Oh, that is good news. Wow. Real blast of sunshine, Elvis. You know the difference between me and you. I got a metal glove and you got a metal arm. <laughs> Cute. Difference is, I know who I am, but you're looking for someone to tell you who you are. Okay. Tell me who I am. I can't. You are who you want to be. You choose. <laughs> wow, that's some deep shit, Baxter. I'm gonna ponder that. Good seeing you, Elvis. Don't get lost out there. Well, all right. In we go. Oh, shit. More frog monsters. Oh, more frog monsters. Great. Cool, brother. Remember hunting coyotes with mama? If we sneak up on the bastards, we can ambush them. That gives us the first move. What if they see us? What is Groove? <laughs> you can split up your group when you're enemies. Split up members can be hidden in any cover position. While hidden, the shattered passive skill is applied, hiding your hero from the enemy. Spread out and find great positions before you engage in combat. I think now is the point to wrap it up. So let's go ahead and wrap up this first session here uh, of Miasma Chronicles. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And yeah, uh, next episode we will get into the Gator Zone and see what we can manage here. So that's going to do it. I'll see you next time for more Miasma Chronicles. Thanks for watching.